This is Susquehanna Nuclear Power Plant in Berwick, Pennsylvania. There are two nuclear reactors here, each with a cooling tower, and together they generate power for about two million homes. But right now, one of the reactors is shut down. The Unit 1 reactor is getting a new, more efficient turbine. Every time a turbine is shut down, it puts stress on the grid. The plant has to buy power for its customers from another source. Now, if everything goes according to plan, the outage will cost about $10 million. But if anything goes wrong, we could be talking serious money. Nuclear power plants, like this one, use the process of nuclear fission to make heat. The heat converts water into steam, and the steam expands into a chain of spinning turbines that turn a generator, and that makes electricity. We're here to fix the high-pressure turbine. Getting the old turbine apart is complicated. The outer casing alone tips the scales at 110 tons. Next, the 42-ton inner casing comes apart, Finally, we can get at the old 80-ton rotor. Then the new one goes in. Every lift has to be done with surgical precision. The inner and outer casing finish the job. There's nothing lightweight about taking apart a nuclear power plant turbine. This top piece alone weighs 110 tons, about as much as 50 pickup trucks stacked on top of each other. And it has to come up perfectly level. All right, we've got our four big cables coming down off the hook. They're going to the four corners of the lid, wrapping around the horn. This is actually the seam right there. So this is the top case, this is the bottom case. And when we start to apply force to this lift, we're gonna peel it apart right there. And that's where the potential contamination is gonna be coming from, right out inside that crack. Getting really close to seeing this thing fly now. Good. If it comes up crooked, it could scrape metal off the blade carriers, what they call galling. I can actually see turbine blades inside there. If little bits of steel get left behind, they may find their way into the new turbine. It's a relief when the outer casing is clear. There it goes, we're off! But we're not out of the woods yet. This casing has spent the last two years in constant contact with steam coming directly off the radioactive core. Radioactive material could be falling on the floor right now. As it moves across, any area of the ground that it covers becomes a potentially contaminated area. So as it comes towards us, we're all going to have to push away. Contamination is generally easy to clean up, as long as it stays on the outside of your body. But as soon as the cover passes overhead, they'll get out all these swabs, and they swab up the deck underneath it. Three days into the fix, we've just got the top off. And that was the easy part. Next comes the 42-ton inner casing. Then the old rotor will be replaced with a new, more efficient one. They're almost ready to take out the old rotor. This is going to be tricky because one end of the rotor is a lot heavier than the other end. If the bearing starts coming up, we'll stop, take a dead blow, knock it down. Jeff lays it out for the team how the lift will go down. Just keep an eye on it. All right, guys, be safe. We got a plan. Time to rock and roll. Those are also a really tight fit, so they're gonna have to lift really slowly in the first couple feet to get it picked out of there. Finally, it's level. That's close enough to pick it out. And they wrap it up to trap in any contamination. This rotor supplied over a million homes with electricity for five years. The new rotor taking its place, along with some other upgrades, will get more power from the same amount of nuclear fuel. Here we go, two ships that pass in the night. That's the old rotor just coming in. Here's the brand new rotor that's waiting to go in right behind it. This is the heart of the beast. As precise as a Swiss watch, only this thing is German. This is the big moment. We're gonna pick the rotor up, drop it into the place where it will be working for the next few years. We like to say lower the rotor. We hate to use the word drop. No, I never use the word drop. Of drop is man. Yeah. It's worth $5 million, not including the cost of having to shut down the plant. There's a lot hanging on getting this piece in without a scratch.
It's a beautiful piece of steel. Now this was a pretty significant engineering feat. I mean, they're trying to locate this thing within three dimensions. It's easy to get it off kilter and scar the sides. And if they scar it, it's gotta come out. There's no option for failure here. Yeah, it's a high tension moment. Yeah. Because this is, you know, if, if something drastic is wrong, now's the time it's gonna show itself, so. There's no going to the hardware store for another one of these. Nice, the turbine rotor is finally in position. It's almost time to put on the last two pieces. They discovered that the new inner casing was just a little too big to fit inside the outer casing, so it has to be pared down by just a bit. It's soon ready to go onto the rotor. A lot of weight to muscle around. It's got to slide in right next to the blades without touching them or scarring them. I gotta get a picture of this. Got these guide pins set up. That'll keep the orientation of these rotor blades and the stationary blade carriers perfectly vertical. So as we slide it down, we don't scar anything up. That piece is in place, no mishaps. One more to go. There's our big case. And this huge piece of steel is kind of like the back to the watch. We already put in all the watch works. Now we just put the back on and then we'll be able to start it up. I gotta say, I'm impressed with the work right. you guys do, man. Hey. It's really amazing. I'm glad you're out there making power for people. Yeah, that's right. It's gotta be done. That's right. Somebody's gotta do it. I'm glad I'm here to help. Mission accomplished. Right on time. Pretty soon, there'll be water vapor coming out of that other tower, and there'll be electricity rolling out over the lines. That means I'm good to go.